I've got good news and I've got bad news. Which one do you want first? Of course you want the bad news first. Well, the bad news is, folks, that in this comic book index update that we have for the month of December 2023, we might have seen a bad omen. That all of our books are going to zero. Non-stop to zero town. The good news is, however, that I have a very special 20,000 subscriber giveaway going on in this video here today. What is that 20,000 subscriber giveaway? Well, it is for a book that is guaranteed to be worth a million dollars that is going to take you to the moon, literally. I'm giving away a Dark Hawk number one in a CGC 9.8, signed and sketched by yours truly, Mickey, aka Swaggle Haas, with a little rocket ship on there, Dark Hawk 1 to the moon, can't do the focus. Maybe you guys were watching Bry's comics, but he, in fact, got his uh, signatory for CGC, and we decided that it'd be really, really fun to create some very unique collector item books of Dark Hawk 1s signed and sketched by me. So I did four of them. There are only four of these books that actually exist, and I'm giving one away. Bry's gonna keep one, I'm gonna keep one, Bry's going to give away one, and then we're also going to give away this one here in this video here today. So before I get into the meat and potatoes of what you guys wanted to see, before I get into the comic book index update, let's take care of this giveaway. How are you guys going to enter? How are you guys going to win this book? All you need to do is like the video, subscribe to the channel, like Bry's video, subscribe to his channel, watch every single video he's ever posted in the history of his entire YouTube, and you will be tested on this. And then after you do that, make sure that you follow the Kickstarter link for Sanity Volume Number 2. Yes, that is right. Next week, we're going to have the pre-launch page go live. Need you to go follow that. I will put a link in the description to it. I will also pin the comment. And then lastly, leave a comment down below in this video. It doesn't have to be about the giveaway. It doesn't have to be about the comic book index. Whatever you want to leave a comment for, leave a comment. And then later on, I will do a comment picker, and I will choose the person who wins this very special one of four Signed and sketched Dark Hawk book. All right, well, with that out of the way, let us get into our video here today. Of course, you guys know what it is by now. Comic Book Index is the top 100 sold books per age, silver, bronze, and copper. I pick the highest volume of grade. That is the one that I count. I take the final sale of each month, kind of simulating a market close, and I get all of my info from GPA data. So suffice to say, if you were going to buy the top 100 most in-demand, most common bought and sold comic books within each age, how much money would it cost you on a month-by-month -month basis? Well, in the month of November 2023, the silver Age index was at the $42,977 range, an up month from the previous low that was in October, the calendar low uh, for the month, and actually the three year low. So the index actually had a little bit of a bounce back up. Now, the theory has always been that the month of December is always an up month for this index, at least going all the way back to the year of 2018. Well, where do we go here in the month of December for 2023? Well, folks, we actually went on a little bit of a slide, not by much, but now we are at the $42,000. $2,666 range. Yes, folks, 666. Perhaps a bad omen for us leading into 2024. We were unable to have that December up month. Is this an indication that the index is on the schneid, at least for the next you know few months or so? But before we really get into the weeds of things and I give you guys my thoughts and predictions on the current state of the economic market, let's move ahead now to the Bronze Age and get ourselves updated on this one as well. In November, we were at the $36,237 range, a slight downtick from the previous month. You know, Virtually, we've been going sideways for the last three months or so. Well, where do we go in the month of December and shock? Shockingly, we actually had another big drop off down to the $33,946 level, the yearly low and also the three year low for this Bronze Age Index. Now, there's some interesting things uh, that later on I'm going to talk about in the key takeaways section uh, where I'll talk about why I think that might have been the case. Of course, we are c coming off of the wake of all the stuff going on with CGC, and you have to wonder if people sort of hit the brakes a little bit in buying graded comic books, and that could have had a slight effect on this index. But either way, this $33,946 number is actually lower than that of December of 2020, November of 2020, and October 
of 2020 as well. You have to go all the way back to September of 2020 for us to sort of uh, be, you know, above the values of which we were pre previously at. Now, one of the interesting things about the Bronze Age Index is that you'll notice that it really got inflated, you know, as early as April and May of 2020. There was kind of a lot of speculation going in the Bronze Age. You know, if you think about those Werewolf by Night 32s, you know, those Punisher 129s, those uh, She-Hulk number ones, all of those types of books uh, were really getting bought up quite a bit. And so it does make sense to me that, you know, we're now kind of going below the trend line in a lot of ways. You know, perhaps things have overcorrected. But let's go forward now to the Copper Age Index. Now, in November of 2023, we were at the $23,653 range. Again, like the other indexes, they're basically at the calendar low for the year. Well, where do we go here in December? Well, surprisingly, we actually had a very, very small uh, push back up. Really not too much overall. I mean, similar to the Silver Age, it's kind of a push, you know, at least in a month to month. And it does seem like the Copper Age Index has been going sideways, at least for the last few months or so. And much like the Bronze Age one, you have to go back to, you know, the 2020 years where, you know, you see this uh, graph really get inflated as early as June and July of 2020. And you got to wonder if there is still a lot of froth uh, in this particular age. Well, let's move forward here to the side by side. And it is really interesting, you know, if you're going to take the average of all of these graphs, I mean, for the most part, they've kind of moved in parallel to each other. I think if you were to, uh, you know, squish them all together, uh, you would have seen that December was definitely uh, one of the lower months that we've seen in comic books in, uh, you know, the last handful of years or so. And it is really interesting to think about, you know, where we might be going in 2024. Let's quickly talk about the key takeaways here before we move on to the bear and bull case and give kind of the overall thoughts on the market. Uh, for the Silver Age in November, we're at 42,977. December, 42,600. And 66, that number, man, uh, which is basically a push of minus 1%. You know, there's a margin of error there, so I'm going to call it basically a push. Uh, November, we were 36,237 for the Bronze Age. December, 33,946, a decrease of 6%. And I will get into why I think that was the case in a little bit. And then for the Copper Age, December 2023, 23,953, a basic push, but up 1%, depending on how you want to call it. Silver Book Values, we only had 8% down. That's actually a pretty small number uh, given what we've been seeing in previous months with this, where we actually had 13% up, but the non-sale factor is still the biggest part of why I think the value is losing a lot of money. 25% uh, non-sale, just again, still people not looking to buy those graded books, not looking to buy, you know, some of these keys. Everybody's still waiting on the sidelines, you know, holding their money close to the vest, uh, waiting for the absolute bottom before they make those purchases. Bronze book values, we had 11% down, 14% up and actually 15% non-sale. Now, 15%, while that doesn't seem like a lot compared to the Silver Age, is actually quite a big number for the Bronze Index. In fact, 15% might be the biggest number I've actually seen uh, since doing this index. I mean, usually it's half as much. So I think that the non-sale factor for the Bronze Books uh, was the big reason why we had uh, such a steep drop-off this particular month. And again, I have to bring up the CGC factor. Were there people that were you know, not willing to buy CGC books in this particular month because of the news. All right, let's go in now to the month by month graph. The month by month, of course, is a very interesting thing to look at. Uh, of course, let's focus in on the cyan line. This is just for silver. Now, December, we can see that we actually had the crossing pattern with the December of 2020 yellow line uh, actually dipping below it. Of course, we know December 2020 is really the first month where we had, you know, the uh, massive spike up in comic book values. The discussion has been, are we ever going to dip below the yellow line, the 2020 prices, because seemingly, uh, you know, the index has uh, been able to hold up uh, for long enough that, you know, if you're somebody out there who found a book, you know, being sold at the 2020 price, uh, you could feel fairly confident that, you know, I'm not going to lose too much more money if I did make this purchase. Here we did see the cyan line finally go below that of the yellow line. And it makes you wonder, are we going to continue to see it go even lower and lower below that yellow line? I mean, maybe we're actually going to test the red line, the 2019 prices. This is especially interesting to think about because typically December is an up month for this index. And if you focus in on the 2022 graph, you know, where we had the orange line, where December was technically an up month in uh, compared to November of that year, but not by much. And then going into January of 2023, well, what did we see? I mean, that was an indication that we were going to have a, an entire year 
of you know the graph slowly trickling down. But again, I'll save my bear and bull thoughts for the end of the video. Now, here's the month by month for the bronze book values. I don't typically show this because I don't necessarily think it is as interesting. The one thing I just wanted to point out to you guys is that yes, the cyan line did cross the yellow 2020 line as well for this index. And actually where it currently is, is lower than that of November 2020, October 2020. You have to actually go all the way back to September of 2020, the yellow line to a kind of rival where we are with the value. So interesting to see that we did have, in fact, this crossing pattern. Now, let us take a look at the trend lines. Again, the trend line is not drawn to scale here, guys. It's just something to show us, you know, a basic sort of uh, understanding of where the graph is. Again, I think a silver age right now is currently basically in the trend line. Bronze books may be flirting with a little bit of that despair phase, uh, but again, everything is not drawn to scale. And the trend line is only a trend line until it isn't. I mean, if we draw this out to, you know, uh, 2026 or 2027, if all of a sudden everything goes to zero, well, you know, we would certainly be able to draw a new trend line at that point. Now, again, I always like to show this, the psychology of the investor. Perhaps we are fully entering that despair phase. I mean, this might be something that goes on for another couple months or so. I mean, we have all the factors to consider, you know, interest rates, macro economy, uh, current state of pop culture and superhero movies, all of those things to consider before we return to the mean, if in fact that is where we are going to return. Because again, I have to give you guys the bear and the bull case. And if you're somebody out there who is an absolute bear, well, we are 100% never returning to the mean. We are going all the way to zero town. Now, again, it's been my speculation. It's been my theory that macroeconomic policies have much more to do with the values of comic books than individual movies or pop culture and things of that nature. And of course, we are in a state where, you know, the economy has been tough, you know, for the last couple of years or so. I mean, interest rates have been very high. They're trying to pull all of that inflation out of the system, although it does seem like we are now at the terminal rate. At least that's what the market predicts right now. Again, I am no expert. This is not financial advice. I am just uh, echoing sentiment and statements made by other people who are much, much smarter than me. Again, remember, I'm somebody out here who's giving away a dark hawk book signed by myself. But currently, the market is saying that we are going to get interest rate cuts this year. If you have interest rate cuts, then you're going to have more free money flowing around the system. You know, more people putting it into the stock market, more people putting it into you know crypto and all those sort of things. And if everyone's portfolios are pumping well they, they have that extra cash you know to make a purchase on a risky thing like a comic book or something for fun so that money might eventually make its way into comic books now the only thing is that comic books are a lot slower than that of you know say stocks you know stocks you can instantly sell right you can instantly buy on stocks comic books not so much i mean you have to sort of weigh all these things you know are people going to sell their collections are they going to come to market is everyone going to you know uh, liquidate their af15s i mean we don't actually know how the market is going to behave in this current economy so it's hard to know how things are going to perform. And again, we don't actually know how much correlation uh, there is between all of these, you know, macro things and, and comic books and all that sort of stuff. I mean, if I go back, which I have, and dig into the annals of GPA and compare it to interest rates and all this sort of stuff, you can see, you know, values are moving in tandem with however, you know, the macro policy is, which is why I say what I say, you know, again, but that is the theory, you know, who, who really knows? I don't know what is going to happen in the future. I'm just trying to put out as much information to you guys so that you can be informed if you're somebody out there who wants to make a purchase, you know, at a fair market value on a certain key book, likely a top 100 books that probably is in this index. Now, again, a lot of people also talking about how we will be going into a recession this year. A lot of people predicting that. Some people saying that we're going to get the soft landing. Some people saying that we're not going to get the recession. I mean, you guys know what it is. Everybody's going back and forth. Nobody actually knows. Uh, but there are indications that we will be getting that recession, although the stock market usually bottoms before the recession, you know, if you know the historical thing. But on the flip side of that, when they start to cut interest rates, actually the stock market goes down because people are panicking because you know they cut interest rates because the system is broken a lot of boring stuff here guys and at the end of the day you know at the end of the day like i always say all that really matters is that you buy a comic that you like and you get the best deal that you can with it and as far as this index shows me definitely don't pay more than generally what it was being sold for in november and december of 2020 that at least is the working theory. I mean, we might go, be going to zero from here. Now, really quickly, let me give you a little bit of the bull case. I think for the next few months or so, we're going to live in that despair phase. We're probably going to have higher unemployment. We're going to have, you know, a more pain, you know, for the first Q1, Q2 and things like that. But then we're going to start to get some rate cuts. You know, then we're going to get political pressure, you know, going into the election season to make sure that the economy is bouncing back up, you know, so that, you know, people can be uh, giving good news during their election speeches. And I do think that, you know, around, you know, summertime, we're going to be getting the Deadpool movie. Maybe it'll be good. Maybe 
think people will be excited about pop culture once again. And I think that eventually that's going to be the point when we start to turn the corner. So this might be, again, like I said, unironically, a good time to look to buy certain key books. Just make sure that you get a good price. Well, folks, that is all for this video. That was the update for the comic book index for the month of December, 2023. Remember, I am giving away this very, very special book worth $1 million, one of four, Darkhawk198, signed and sketched by me, witnessed by Bry's Comics. Be sure to go over to his channel, sub to his channel, sub to my channel, like this video, put a comment down below, and go follow the pre-launch page of my Kickstarter for Sanity issues number two and three. Anyways, thanks again for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. See you on the next one.